Sean here with Munashe, and we have an amazing surprise for you guys. I know it's been trying times, yeah. and you know, exercise is really good for the brain, right, Moo? We, yeah, we need those endorphins. We need to feel good. Yeah. And you know, as uh, a family and as a group, we've been going a lot to the gym. We've been developing this awesome program for fitness in golf. Yeah. Now, Munashi has been doing his homework. He's now TPI certified. Right. On top of being a kinesiologist, he's got a degree in kinesiology from University of Queens, and the man has played a lot of football. So you know your sports. Exactly. And we're so proud to have you. Thank you. And what we're going to be doing is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're going to be getting together for live shows. You are going to get together with us. We have some very basic equipment here we're going to present to you. And Friday, two days from now, 11 a.m., right? right? Yeah. So we can include our folks from the West Coast at 8 a.m. Yeah. And our friends in the UK and France and Germany, at, which is going to be around 4 to 5 p.m. And, you know, those of you who are in your house, you're under quarantine, you're not moving, we're going to move. And... On top of that, we're going to move with stuff that's going to help your golf game. So this is really great spring training for all of us. Exactly, yeah. So it's a great opportunity for us to get together and really do something about our fitness, our attitude, our brain, yeah. and our golf game. So I'm going to, Munashe is going to do, he's going to take the lead and, and we're going to do, so you're going to need a set of TRX, which is basically uh, a set of straps like this that you hook on to uh, something on your door or your ceiling and they make um, a nice uh, copy of these yeah. that you can get for under a hundred bucks and we want and and basically because all the gyms are closed we have adapted a gym for us here at the academy so we got dumbbells here that uh, that you're going to need so I use basically anywhere between five and 20 pounds is yeah. all you need. Yeah, exactly. Kettlebells between five and 20 pounds. Exactly. Yeah, same, same deal. Same deal. Yeah. And medicine balls, same deal. Five to 20 pounds. So you got everything you need here. We're going to do three workouts a week. Yeah. And, um, and then we're going to get ourselves into shape. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do in between the, because we have to take a rest, right? Yeah. yeah. So while, while we're doing that 90 second rest, I'm going to show you guys how this applies to your golf game so that you understand the reasoning behind this exercise. It'll help motivate you into doing what you need to do. And uh, we've been tremendously enjoying this man's routine at the gym. Uh, Savannah's been trimming cr like down like crazy. She's looking awesome. I'm doing the same thing and so is my wife. So we want the same for you guys. And uh, we're just going to have a blast. So looking forward to seeing you this Friday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern with Munashe Masawi. We're so, so lucky to have this guy. And uh, with myself and Savannah, we're all going to be there. And we hope that you'll join us as well. All the best. Take two. Take two. Because <laughs> somebody didn't press record. <laughs> somebody had a brain fart. <laughs> yes. Good morning. Um, I'm, I'm going for my second half of my coffee real soon. <laughs> we just had a wonderful video on how to hit hybrids and fairway woods, mm -hmm. which you've been having way too much fun with. Yeah. And so. I ordered mine, mm -hmm. and I'm really glad I did because I hit some spectacular shots into par fives and, and had some nice eagle opportunities the last couple of rounds we've been out. So the the final makeup of your set, which we now have, mm -hmm. you've got your eye blades up to seven, mm -hmm. then you've got your G710s, which are absolutely gorgeous, yeah. with the seven and six, mm -hmm. which you're basically hitting 10 to 15 yards longer and the height has been amazing. I mean, you've been coming in at such a nice height with those irons. Mm -hmm. And then you got your, your four hybrid and your, your three hybrid. Yeah. 
to complete the set, which you also absolutely smoke. Yeah. So because you've been hitting the ball so well with those and they sound so good, I got mine and I'm glad I did because my eye blades, which are, you know, I, I think I've, I have. No, I, your blueprints. Sorry, my blueprints. Yeah. See, getting old. <laughs> and, and so the blueprints I've been really hitting well this week. Mm. However, my longest iron is 215 to 220. But what I love about them is, let's say I had 180 into the wind, uphill, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, okay, I'll just take one extra club, and it just, it's like they're wedges, mm -hmm. you know? You can back off one club and really be accurate, and I'm, I'm always within 20 feet of that pin, mm -hmm. and it's on the front of the green or the back of the green, I can attack all the flag sticks that I want. Yeah. But that 235 distance was missing again, yeah. and therefore we have it. And so we're going to show you a hybrid with her yeah. and, uh, and Fairway Woods with me. Because uh, I know many of you have been thinking about, um, you know, when you're closing the face and you're trying to hit a draw with that Fairway Wood, you're thinking, man, that looks so closed. How do I get the ball in the air? And I know some of you have been really struggling with that. And, and I'm going to answer those questions for you. Okay. Yeah. So you just do a fade and a draw. <clears throat> you pick first. So... We'll do draw, okay. lining up on the black flag, and releasing to the left bunker. Perfect. Oh, great contact. It started on the right line. Yeah. Now, did you guys hear and did you uh, see that nice little puff of sand that came up? Mm -hmm. The key to these and the fairway woods is to feel that nice deflection. And that's why they're nice and round on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you feel that nice spank along the ground. So you were looking for that whipping spank in the direction that was just left of the black flag. Yeah. All right. Let's see it again. Fade. You're going to do fade now? Okay. Oh, that's perfect. That's a straight fade, landing nice and soft, really, really nice height. Isn't this a gorgeous backdrop for these? So if you look at, look at this. Look at those grass stains on the center of that club face. The only way to do that is to get that nice little spank. Yep. Now, if you're in a divot, or in a really tight lie, so I'm just gonna put the ball on a divot right there. You'll notice that the hybrids and the fairway woods work very, very well. Yes, fairway woods out of a divot. What you'll find that they don't work as well as when the ball's sitting too high in the rough. Yeah. It's easy to get, get under the ball. So you really gotta choose, you know, be careful of the lie when you're in the rough. If the ball is, if there's some nice firm ground just under that grass, it'll come out like a, like a champ. But if, if it's a nice and soft underneath, then you really wanna stay along the surface of the grass. Mm -hmm. So out of a divot, all we gotta do is spank it through the bottom of that divot. So I got my ball position, which by the way, again, I don't know if you can, can you see that? So the club is in the center and the ball's just forward of the club. Just a hair back of that for the draw and just a hair back of that, uh, forward of that for the fade. So I'm gonna hit a little fade. I feel like the low point of that spank is right there in front of the ball. All I gotta do is whip the club through the bottom of that divot and feel the spank through the bottom of the divot. And there you have it. Beauty. Oh, is that fun? That was far. And it's right on the black flag. Yeah. How about that? So that's gorgeous. So off regular turf, it's going to be very easy, especially on this nice, firm Arizona turf. So if I'm going to go a little draw on this one, so right edge of that. So I'm going to go black back to bunker. So now I'm playing the ball just a hair further back of center. So there was my fade, center of club slightly forward of center. 
and there's my draw, center of club slightly back of center, so that I get this, this little counterclockwise rotation, and my grip feels just a little stronger. And there you have it. Nice. Ah, oh, that's so nice. As the sun comes out. Yes. <laughs> so, <clears throat> when you're hitting the fairway wood, I got a 14 and a half degree fairway wood, and we're going to close it significantly. And I'm going to need your help on this one, Sav, because you're the expert in this department. Many of you have been looking down, so let's say we're going to go bunker to the flags that are right there on the on the left edge of that mountain okay. and we say okay we need to close the face and for many of you to have a strong grip is just a little too much strain on that forearm and you're having a hard time staying you know you're having a hard time getting that full whip mm -hmm. you have that flexibility you got no issues yeah so for many of you, we say, okay, just keep the club face closed. So it's one or the other. And then you're looking down at the fairway wood now and you're thinking, how in the world is that going to work? Yeah. Well, when the hands come through first, see how it's no longer closed. And the hands are not going to be as far forward with the fairway wood, but you notice they don't have to go very far forward to square up the face. Mm -hmm. But the look of it at a dress, let's say you're playing soccer mm -hmm. and you want it to kick that soccer ball and make it curve over the bunker back to the left side of that mountain. So you look at the direction that you're kicking on and look at where the foot's aiming. See that? So the face of the club is the inside of your foot. Yeah. You tow it in and then you grip it and you say, all right, I just need to start that to the right of this intermediate point. So I'm kicking in that direction so I play the ball back enough and you see how close that is Seth yeah so now I'm gonna feel that nice whipping spank whipping deflection in that direction let's see what happens with ease of course and that ball starts right there and comes all the way back to the left side of that mountain mm -hmm. it was just a little bit scuffy but very very functional so we'll get a little more through the ball. But you see the height? Yeah. That had plenty of height on it. So I'm just hitting a very strong draw for me when I keep that closed. There it is. Nice. So notice how it's rolling back? Yeah. Since it's a little sunny. We'll do one more for you. There we go. So I'm looking for that nice spank in that direction. Stay with it. There it is. That was Very plastered. Nice. And that will go so far in these conditions. Yeah, still going. And it was right on the money. So, so don't be afraid. You only need a couple of degrees of launch. Mm -hmm. uh, I demonstrate this to my students all the time. I have a seven and a half degree driver, yeah. low spin. Yeah and I'll hit it off the deck and the machine tells us that it has about three and a half to four degrees of launch mm -hmm. and then they see the ball take off in the range and they go wow that still went pretty high yeah and it's it carried well over 200 yards mm -hmm. so you really don't need a lot of space underneath the ball as soon as the wind hits underneath the ball it starts to spin it'll rise beautifully for you you don't have to worry about it what you want to be concerned with is delivering in the direction that you want that ball to go with a nice velocity and a lot of ease. So last tidbit, for fades, just let the club lay flat. For most of you, just flat and square is enough. Yeah. It looks quite open because the, the um, and, and that's why sometimes many of you are closing the face a little bit too much with the fairway wood because of the curved nature of it. Mm -hmm it looks more open than it actually is. So yeah, you want to close it as much as you need to, to get that draw to come back. So we just gave you something to take care of the visual, 
But by the same token, if it's hooking too much, well, it's just too closed. And that's why the fairway woods and the irons are not going to have the same appearance because of this curved face. So the, the, the outside of that face makes it look more open than it is. So I'm just going to lay it flat. I'm going to take that uh, uh, left edge of bunker back to black flag. Now it's just laying flat and I'm playing a fade. So the center of the club is just a hair forward to center. And I'm just going to spank it in that direction. And there it is. Beauty. Look at the height on that. Yeah, that's really high. So it just climbs beautifully, landed right on top of that black flag. Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoyed that video. We're on our way back to the airport right now. Yeah. Um, questions, comments, put them down below. Yeah. S hit that subscribe button. Like. Like it. And let, let us know what you want to see.